Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. I hope you're doing well. You, along with me and many others, have been uh, decimated by the Eagles losing the Super Bowl. Uh, some of you may not even care about the Super Bowl or sports or football, etc., etc. But uh, as for me and many others in the area here, in our church, in our circles, uh, we're very uh, dis disheartened uh, at the result of the Super Bowl, especially uh, with an official throwing a flag when they did, and uh, it was so anticlimactic. But um, unless your last name is McKinley, uh, and you or you live in Missouri, you're you're disappointed with the result of the Super Bowl. Um, I know some people uh, even took to the streets in Philadelphia and and. Uh, vandalized property and uh, nonsense like that um, not tons of I haven't had tons of reports but um, but uh, stuff like that uh, creates um, disappointment it creates uh, a lot of uh, feelings that are negative uh, it, it gets you upset angry even um, and to be quite honest, it's not just football games. There's all sorts of things going on in life that cause us grief, agony, frustration. They make us upset. Um, they give us a sense of insecurity. Uh, they, uh, they might worry us or uh, divide us in some kind of way. Um, but here's what I want to encourage you with. I want to encourage you with, uh, with a scripture passage from 2 Thessalonians 3.16. I'll say it again, 2 Thessalonians 3.16. This is a letter from the Apostle Paul. Uh, and so uh, there's a lot of discord and things going on in this, this church in Thessalonica. And Paul writes this wonderful letter and here is this is a, a the scripture verse is used often as a benediction in church but it's to be quite honest it's a it's a wish that pastors have for their congregations and that God has for you and that uh, any believer should have for one another now this is what the apostle paul writes and this is at the end of the letter he says now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. I'm going to say that again. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. Give you peace at all times in every way even after an extremely disappointing loss in the Super Bowl. Um, there's nothing like peace. Now, this peace is talking about, this is peace, um, you know, uh, peacefulness, uh, an end to discord, getting along, unity, um, and... Uh, here, I remember the, the most peace that I've had probably in my life, you know, is when I was a kid and I knew that I could depend on my mom uh, to take care of me and my brother and, uh, and I didn't have to worry about a whole lot, that, that she was going to make sure that we were fed, that we were taken care of, um, if I needed a hug, I'd get a hug. I didn't have to worry about the bills. I didn't have to worry about much stuff except for my schoolwork. And I knew that even if I messed up on some things, my mom might not be happy, but she still loved me and cared about me. And I took peace in all these things. And my mom was in control of our home. Now, I'm from a single parent home, in case you didn't know. And some of you might have experienced that with your mom, your dad, both of them. Um, but where do you find peace? Where does this peace come from? It comes from God. It comes from 
finding yourself in him, trusting in him, knowing that he is the one who is taking care of things. Even when we're disappointed, even when there's turbulence in our life, that he is in control, that we can embrace him, hold on to him, ride out the difficult times with him, knowing that there are greater times ahead and that he's in control. Now, God bless you, and may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. May the Lord be with you. God bless you.